Welcome back to Game On and welcome to the world of the unknown. Well, I don't mean that I'm going to be clueless about what I'll do for the rest of this episode. That was just my clever introduction to the game that we are reviewing today. Cutting to the chase, it's Fear 3. Now, there are not a lot of games which fall under the category of not so mainstream horror games. And for the uninitiated, Fear 3 is also a first person shooter. So how well does it blend the genre with the style? Would you rather go to the nearby store and buy a movie CD for 40 rupees to just see some bullets flying about? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you in this episode. Nothing is more terrifying than the unknown. Unfortunately, Fear 3 doesn't seem to grasp this and it lays bare all the mysteries of this series of paranormal shooters moving the story forward but stripping away its power to get inside your head and keep you up at night. But while Fear 3 may disappoint as a horror game, it satisfies as a shooter. The campaign is good fun in single player and especially enjoyable when played cooperatively with a friend. We were engineered. Fear 3 follows hot on the heels of Fear 2 and returns to the protagonist of the original Fear, the genetically designed super soldier known as Point Man, a dimensionally incorrect nomenclature for a robust soldier. Anyway, the events at the end of Fear 2 have triggered a paranormal catastrophe in the city of Fairport and Point Man is eager to make his way there and help out a former squad mate caught up in the chaos. Point Man is not alone though, his homicidal brother Paxton Fettel is along for the ride. Point Man may have put a bullet in his brother's brain in fear, but Fettel isn't about to let a little thing like being dead keep him down. Oh, creepy. If being dead doesn't keep you out, I wonder what does. So the dead and angrier than ever brother is back and this time there is a lot of tension between the two brothers. But despite the tension, the story progresses predictably and the thing that you will notice is that there are no scares or surprises in this game. The fault this time is with Fear 3's graphics. The graphics in this game lag way behind the current status. The reason I say graphics are bad is because the creepy living rooms, city streets and food courts you fight your way through aren't quite as creepy as they should be. The environments lack the convincing level of detail to fully pull you in. However, the sounds are more effective, the loud blasts of gunfire heighten the intensity of firefights and the wails that accompany ghostly visions may unsettle you a bit, even if the sight of them doesn't. <laughs> Now let's talk gameplay. Both Point Man and Paxton Fettel are playable. However, in a single player mode, you first have to play as Point Man until you progress through your levels and get a chance to unlock Paxton Fettel. But no matter which character you choose, this game is basically a corridor shooter, which means that you have to shuttle from one small space to another, constantly being confronted by large groups of enemies. The assortment of pistols, shotguns, assault rifles and other weapons you can employ feel powerful and the smooth controls make aiming and shooting a pleasure and your melee attacks which include a sliding kick that can send enemies flying like rag dolls make it fun to sometimes forego the use of guns and charge your enemies. This reminds me of a similar game, Bulletstorm. Similar creepiness and gore and at times similar attack modes but the storyline makes this game much better. Most of your time is spent fighting the soldiers from the private army Armachum and these soldiers actually always keep you on your toes by flanking your position. Although occasionally they do dumb things like the fat uncle in my apartment building, they get stuck while climbing down the stairs. That's some poor AI. However, all the areas where the shootouts actually takes place gives you ample opportunities for cover and that's what makes this game fun. When you run from one cover to another, it's a sight to see the previous cover being blown into smithereens. Ah, some first-person shooters can be good fun. Contact left. Shit, shit, shit. As point man, you have an edge in battle courtesy of your unnaturally fast reflexes. There's nothing novel about the ability to go into slow motion in shooters anymore, but it's still cool to see the air vibrate in the wake of a speeding bullet that whizzes past your head or to watch as what's left of an enemy explodes in a bloody mess. 
Baxter lacks his brother's heightened reflexes but makes up for it with other talents. He can't pick up guns but he can suspend enemies helplessly in the air and fire deadly blasts of energy from his hand. He can also take possession of soldiers even from significant distances and it's liberating to zap into the body of an enemy from across the room. Fear 3 also has four multiplayer modes for up to four players. My favorite is the one which is called Soul King. Now what happens in this is that you start off in the Spectre mode and you have to possess soldiers and fallen down enemies. You have to take the soul out of fallen down enemies. The player who has the maximum number of souls by the time the game ends wins. But here's the catch. Every time you get killed, you lose half the number of souls that you have collected. Which means that even if in the game you have a decent lead, that cannot ensure your win. I would have said that Fear 3 is a gamer's delight, but for the graphics. Anyway, here are my ratings for this game. And after the ratings, there are three huge gaming releases slated for this year. Check them out. And one of them is Metal Rising. The concept of the game is fantastic. It's suspense and shooting. I'll give it a 9 on 10. However, it could have been better if the graphics were good. Graphics are ordinary, just a 5 on 10. You would enjoy the game because it's got a completely new style to offer, so it's a 7 on 10. And the soundtrack is definitely good with the loud blasts of the bombs and the bullets, it's an 8 on 10. planning on going. This whole thing's turned into a friggin' mess. First time visitor, huh?
don't. Stay down. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. You get off on all this, don't you? I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. <laughs> The map proves it. Drake sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Great, but what for? The legend crops up over and over. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars. City of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance. The Atlantis of the small problem. The Ruble Kali Desert, 600 miles across. Finally, Krish will be revealed. Don't trust Drake. What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reason. Quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die. You're getting reckless. I taught you better than that. Drop your weapons. I don't think so. You son of a bitch. Gotta pull the trigger. Just keep it steady. Just tell me what you're looking for. Come on! Get in! Come on! Go! Go! Find them. Bring me the ring. No cursed treasures? Nope. No diabolical warlords? No. 